Hey everybody, Carl Alwine. Uh, I'm going to pre-lube this freshly rebuilt engine today. I'm going to show you all that is needed. Basically this shaft here that replaces the distributor and an electric drill. Stick with me after the break. Basically, I'm going to talk about um, this process while I do it. Uh, the first thing I do is make sure all the oil galleys are plugged. I've checked that probably twice, maybe three times. Um, this oil galley right here. Oil filter needs to be on, of course. Oil pan. Nice and tight. Oil galleys back here plugs, dipstick, have that plugged in, everything looks sound up front, yep, okay, so we've got, I take, you know, you can tap into oil pressure anywhere you want, but I, I go right here at the back of the manifold or the back of the block. I put this. This is what I have, but you can put any gauge here. It just happens to be a gauge I have and I can hang it anywhere. I don't actually even wrench it in. Just finger tight. All right. Now, oil. You might want to just use a really cheap oil because you're basically, you can uh, empty it when you're done or use your break-in oil. That's what I'm going to do. This is just three, 30 weight non-detergent oil. And this will be the oil that is used in the dyno. I don't pour any into the uh, valve, the head area, because I like to see, you know, the witness that there's oil been coming up the push rod and into the, uh, up onto the rocker down the spring. I like to keep it dry in that area, but no, no biggie. Okay, I put the uh, oil pressure gauge right there, just so you can watch it. Just has, doesn't have to be on there too tight. Um, I make sure I clean this off. I blow it off with air. I make sure I clean all this off. What, you don't want to use your drill that you have just gotten a bunch of metal pieces and the obvious reason. Let's see what we get. I'll make sure to turn the volume down and so you don't have to plug your ears. And hopefully there's no oil leaks. I come, here we go.
right. Looks like we were up to 70 pounds. And I looked all the way, I looked everything uh, over back here, nothing, no oil leaks. But I don't have oil coming up the push rods yet, so I'm going to, a lot of times you might even have to run the drill about five minutes to finally get it warmed up and up through the push rods. So I'll pause the tape and come on back. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit of oil up in here and I'll show you where that's at. Right in there without the drill going. So I expect to see that in every, see now that's dry right there. Run it for about five minutes, there'll be oil in every one of these. All right, here I sped up the video to save time and what I'm doing is uh, turning the crankshaft and that moves the push rods, uh, moves the lifters, and I guess it kind of exercises, it helps the oil get up into the uh, push rods. Over on the passenger side, oil's all there. Over on the driver's side, everything's, oil is up on every rocker except the number one. So I give it a little more time. It's about, I'd say, two minutes at the most of uh, spinning the drill and waiting for that number one to fill up with oil. And here's the evidence. It's not easy to see, but oil at every one of the rockers, all the way to the one right there that I was waiting for, number one. All right, in closing, hopefully just seeing what, uh, what I just did will give you a good idea on why you want to uh, pressurize your system, how it's done. It's a simple process. So check for pressure, check for oil up all the push rods, and check for leaks. That's all I got for you today. This is Carlisle Wine L Wine Engines. Take care. Thank you.